Incidents of anti-Semitism are on the rise, both on college campuses and nationwide. According to the FBI's 2015 hate crimes report, 52% of all religiously motivated hate crimes were against Jews. On college campuses, the number of anti-Semitic incidents have more than doubled than they were in previous years. This includes physical assault, violent rhetoric, and discrimination. This is Aaron Curley with CalTV News. On February 9th, a student group at Central Michigan University held a Valentine's Day party where one card read, My love for you burns like 6,000 Jews. This January, swastikas and hate speech were found at Stanford University. At UC Davis, a Jewish fraternity was targeted and graffitied with swastikas. In 2015 alone, over 450 incidents were reported. We interviewed Professor Ron Hasner about the legacy of anti-Semitism on college campuses history of anti-Semitism, not just on the Berkeley campus, not just in the UC system, not just in American universities, but around the world. Anti-Semitism, some have argued, is the oldest hatred on the planet. The graffiti in the Eshelman Hall bathrooms is oh. one of those cases. Because that graffiti said, Zionists should be sent to the gas chambers. Now, what is that? Is that anti-Zionism or anti-Semitism? The answer is it's both. I asked Rabbi Naftalin Kelman here at the Berkeley Hillel about what we could do to fix this problem. I really believe I, I work here in a place of higher education. I think the root solution um, for all of this is a sense of education and awareness. Um, sitting down with the other and hearing when you use language, um, they might not intend for that language to be the way that I hear it, but they should hear how I hear it. The UC regions have publicly condemned anti-Semitism on campus and have instituted special programs and task forces to combat it. However, there is still a long way to go in the fight against religious intolerance. Therefore, if you are a victim or a witness of any hate crime, please contact the university police.